Well, uh, we've, we've been very happy to be part of this panel this morning here in Nashville, and thanks to the Chamber and everybody who organized it, because it's a very opportune time to talk about how important our relationship is. Uh, Mexico is deeply engaged now with talks with the administration uh, about reviewing the relationship. It's a very deep and a very strong relationship, and we've been uh, underlining uh, how much we, need to we mean to each other. Mexico is the second buyer of goods of the United States in the world. And by the way, we're also the second buyer of Tennessee in the world of goods. Uh, so we are very deeply connected to each other. I was saying uh, in the part of the panel that one of the things that sometimes get uh, not uh, looked at is that uh, our economic relationship is very sophisticated, is very complex. We do a lot more together than just trade goods with each other. Uh, we are actually part of a, a very sophisticated, uh, value-added uh, manufacturing processes that happen in North America. So, for example, uh, every single product that comes into the United States from Mexico, 40% of that product is American content. So it's not just American or Mexican products crossing the border. These are North American products that are produced. And many of the companies that are manufacturing part of their processes here in Tennessee uh, are also doing it in Mexico. And, uh, and so a lot of those jobs are relying, are, are connected to, to each other. Uh, in, c in the case of Tennessee, uh, we estimate that there's uh, th the sell say sales of Tennessee to Mexico are around $5 billion. Around 100,000 jobs in Tennessee w depend on Mexico. So our relationship is very important, and, and it's very important to us too, of course. As you can probably imagine, thousands and millions of jobs in Mexico rely on, on trade with the United States. So reviewing our economic relationship is probably something we need to do. Our, our NAFTA is uh, 21 years old. Uh, it's an, it's, it's a, one of the first free trade agreements of the last generation that were negotiated. A lot of things are now that were not present then. Uh, E-commerce, telecommunications, energy, issues that need to be looked upon. But we need to look at them together as the countries that we are, that we are neighbors and we are partners. Well, well, Tennessee is one of the states that has taken the, mo uh, the very intelligent approach into the, uh, its positioning in global markets. And, uh, and how Tennessee and, for example, the city of Nashville here has been very uh, intelligent in, in branding the city as, an, as a city that is open to, uh, uh, you know, uh, world diversity and international global communities here has positioned uh, this state and this city in a very advantageous place. And that same happens with uh, a city like Memphis. Uh, so, so in order to keep that going and in order to keep that environment open, uh, uh, it's very important to have a sensible and, a, and a, a responsible conversation with other partners and trade partners and economic partners in the world. Mexico is one of the United States' closest economic and uh, security and social and cultural partners in the world, and we're not going anywhere. Of course, we ha we're going to strengthen our presence in other parts of the world. Mexico will strengthen its presence in, in Asia, in South America, and our economic partnership in Europe, but uh, we will keep being a central part of North America.